Daniel Sanders here yes. at the 70.3 World Championship in Lachtia. How is your form? The form is okay, actually. It's coming in. It's the first season, I think, where I feel like I'm still progressing. So usually I'm like hanging on for dear life come World Championships. And this time I feel like uh, I'm going to peak like two months from now. So I think it's probably a better problem to have to be, you know, not overtrained anyway. You have had some good races this year, a couple of uh, podium uh, places. Uh, how important is this World Championship to you? This has been my focus for the year. So this was this is my A race for the year. Um, I wish I could have had better performances earlier on, but I, I think I'm starting to understand how to prepare a little bit better. And I've always been in good form in May, uh, but that, that's not when you really want to be in good form. So I, I tried things a little differently this year and started off quite slow. So we'll see how it pans out. I think I feel like I missed the peak a little bit, like I'm, like I'm a month behind or so. But uh, oh well, it's, you know you can transcend the training for sure. What is your opinion on the course? It's a really good course, a really good, I think it's a strong bikers course. It's got uh, more gain than the course maps that I wrote it yesterday. It's over 2,000 feet of gain. Um, and it's little punchy climbs, so you can actually, I think, uh, get separation if you, if you want to. So I think it will have the, the, the capacity anyway to break up if guys want to, the good swimmers and the good bikers. Um, I, think it, I think it'll be a good opportunity for the weaker swimmers to at least do a little bit of damage. And then where it really is good is on the run, because it is a hard run course. So it's, I'd say it's harder run course than the old St. George 70.3 course, which is one of the hardest runs on the circuit. So um, it's, it's a really good, strong athlete, good, strong all around athlete course. So I'm excited to see uh, how I'll fare on this type of course. So what kind of a race do you expect? A really fast one or a tactical? Um, I mean, it's probably going to be a combination of both, of course. There's a lot of good guys here. Obviously, Christian is the one to beat. Uh, there's a couple of ITU guys who don't have a ton of races under their belt who are extremely strong. Pierre Lacour, for instance, like I, I have no idea what he's capable of. Obviously, he just did really good a week ago in, in the Paris test event. So, obviously, he has the speed. Um, and then there's the usual guys, Jason West, Sam Long, you know, guys who I am familiar with. Uh, this type of course, though, I, I think it will be a, quite an individual race. There'll be a little bit, of course, pack dynamics on the bike, as there always is when everyone is, is pretty close in ability. Um, but, I, but I do think you will pay the price. If you overbike, you're going to pay the price. And this run is a hard run, and you're going to really regret overbiking. So this will be a good race for someone who wants to race kind of internally and listen to their body. And if you close the final 10K well, you will finish really well. You're not only a triathlete, you're a father almost a year for now. Indeed, yes. <laughs> How has that uh, changed your life as an athlete? Uh, you know, it just, gives, it just gives greater motivation to what I'm doing. When I'm out there, any time away from the family is time I can never get back. So now I, you know, I make every second count when I'm away. So uh, whereas I used to, you know, probably putts around and things now, and it just everything has a little more motivation to it. And uh, I love the little guy. He's coming here right now. So he's slowly getting on the time zone. He'll be here to, in a few minutes to, to watch. All right, then good luck to you for the race on Sunday. Cheers. Thank you. I appreciate you guys.